in the wireless image mesh system there is a new product in the Vexis Atom product line. And as you know in the past I tested the ASMI version of the Atom 500. Today we are testing their new release, the Atom 500 SDI wireless image transmission system. As in any of my in-depth reviews, we'll make an unboxing, spec talk, go out and test the range and transmission distance, and after that, and conclusion and what I think about it. And if you want to find out more about my other wireless image transmission systems, there will be links in the description and you can check all the reviews. Let's go firstly to an unboxing and what's in the box. The black box includes just a couple of things. Vexis Atom 500 SDI receiver and transmitter, USB-C cable, and the instruction manual. The Vexis Atom 500 SDI design is pretty sleek and with the built-in antennas makes it pretty flush. The novelty of this system is the SDI input, so you can actually use some really high-end cameras just like RED and ARRI. Unlike the Vexis Atom 500 HDMI version, we have lost the HDMI pass-through, so straight out of the box you will not have a pass-through signal, but you can actually have a pass-through signal on every monitor that you can actually find out there, that is kind of more than $200, just like this OC Tech screen, it has SDI and HDMI pass-through, so there should be not any problem with that. This device is mostly designed to give you an SD out or HDMI out option if you're using an external monitor slash recorder, where the monitoring happens mostly not in the camera or where the camera is used as an integral monitoring system that doesn't have the need for an additional external monitor, just like RED and ARRI. Said that, let's have a look into the specs. The max SDI HDMI in and out option is 1080p, max 30p, with a max power consumption for both transmitter and receiver of 6.5 watts, that with a bigger MPF battery bank should last pretty much the whole shoot. With this iteration we are seeing finally USB-C power option. Perfect for an all-in-one solution, just like my wireless monitor with a bigger battery powering up all the system. On the back you will find also the standard MPF Sony battery slot. On the left side of the device there is the power on and off switch with a handy one quarter screw mount. On the bottom part you will also find another one quarter screw mount. Let's go straight to the menu settings and layout. The built-in front OLED screen will give you all the info needed and actually more than expected in this price range. Device temperature, voltage power, channel, wither source and a resolution with the signal strength. You will be able to select 3 fan speeds, or actually turning it off if you are in an quiet recording environment. In the fan high mode, the fan is hearable if you are closer with the mic, so select your desired speed of the fan for your specific filming type. In the menu settings you will be also able to check the Wi-Fi password and ID, connection, pairing option, system option for the version and language, and scan for the best channel available. Pretty much a lot of options. With this system you will be able also to connect your smartphone and use your smartphone or tablet as a wireless monitor system, actually not having to need to actually have a monitor or the receiver mounted on anything. So you will be actually using just the transmitter and your smartphone or tablet to monitor your footage. This will be implemented soon, stay tuned. Ok, so we are now ready to get out for the distance test. And just like in every of my tests, I am out in this open field environment to test the wireless image transmission system, the Vexis Atom 500 SDI version. And I will start walking and test the range and if we get some interference in the signal and in the straight video transmission on this OC Tech mounted on top the Vexis receiver. Let's start walking. And this is kind of a great wide open environment we have kind of rain today so I'm under the roof. Walking straight on, getting back so you can understand how far am I. Actually this wide angle lens will give you a much wider field of view 
at 11 millimeters full frame should be pretty wide. Okay, so we are now at around 100 meter distance, testing the range and actually if there is some delay or actual video transmission interference at this distance. And now I will get straight back to finish this range test and get to other specs of the wireless Vexis Atom 500 SDI version. In the footage test at around 100 meters, I didn't notice any footage interference or actual footage dropout. The footage was battery smooth. Well, the test is over, let's get back into the studio to see how it performed and actually to check the footage for my A6400 that was filming the screen with the wireless image transmission system. The delay of the system gets up from 8 to 12 milliseconds and actually it depends if you go further at around 100 meters it will be kind of 12. You can check the delay, film in 25 frames per second and check how much frames we are losing. We are losing kind of 3 to 4 frames of delay in the 25 frames per second method. So if you want to get the math, do it for yourself, I am getting at around 10 to 12 milliseconds of delay. Well, we are going straight for the verdict and what's my opinion about this system. This system will be great if you need just the HDMI in or SDI in without the loop out. And if you need that, you can check the other Vaxis product line that offer that. The actual OLED screen is still too dim for auto usage and the visibility gets better when pressing one of the buttons. But rather than that, they work as intended and I didn't have any problems while using them, giving me a reliable image transmission system. And they are stating actually 150 meters of range and distance. Well, I was testing it at around 100 meters, so you can expect a strong signal at this point. Comment section down below if you have any questions. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, Subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.